All right. <laughs> I'm back. This is the next part of some more gifts through me for you. Um, I was just going to do a one big part episode. It already exceeded half an hour. So fortunately for us, my recorder stopped on its own. Seeing everything has a reason. I was compelled to go with that. Mm. So now we're on the next part of this special lecture episode series called More Gifts Through Me For You. This is your door. Hoima Akasha here. Okay. So we went through a whole bunch of la da dee da and the previous episode and now I just need to throw down some copywriting concepts hoima copywriting concepts this one is a dope idea I've kind of had for a little while um, I do have really awesome ideas that seem to kind of orbit I'll have an awesome idea for a while and then I'll forget it for a couple months and then sometimes roughly the same time the next year that idea will come back more in a couple months so it's just bubbling it's cooking up in there <laughs> good okay anyways um this one this idea i call the cymatic 3d printer and how it works is is it's absolutely beautiful because what we're how it works is is it's using sound to give you accurate geometric shapes that are three-dimensional. And uh, it also opens the hole towards more research in somatics, um, sound affecting matter. So how the somatic 3D printer works is how mine works is is there's a glass bucket of heated water because this printer keeps the water hot the reason why the water is hot is, is because there's a whole bunch of wax in liquid form floating on top of this warm water this hot water now on the bottom side of this bucket that's got water being heated we've got these special speakers that are okay with hot water um they're waterproof speakers one of my obsession i'm into waterproof speakers just make sure you're being nice to the marine life guys don't mess around man anyways These waterproof speakers in the hot water bucket would are designed to emit sounds in the water, but those sounds will hit the wax that's floating on top of the water. According to my calculations, the sound going through the water should hit the wax and go through the wax as well. Now, what you do with this cymatic 3D printer is, is you adjust the sounds for the speakers. You keep adjusting it to get the three-dimensional shapes that should be taking place upside down in this hot water bucket that's got wax floating. And then you can just keep adjusting the sounds until you get a really cool shape that you're looking for. And then turn the heat off. The water cools leave the sound on so while the sounds on left on and the water cools the wax will cool in that really radical flawless geometric shape that you just had you can take that and use it as a wax mold in ceramic and then from the ceramic you can have a metallic shaped pieces that are geometrically flawless because they were shaped with sound 
I also have uh, some other crazy ideas for a cymatic 3D printer is if you can find ways to heat up metal while it's levitating. This has already been done. Other scientists out there have gotten certain things happening. And I seen one got metal to levitate and heat up bright red, orange, and yellow. And I thought to myself, that metal is levitating and it's molten, it's going into molten liquid, right? You can push it and get it to a liquid state, but then all you need from there are powerful focused speakers that'll focus the sound in a specific direction and then hit the metal. I'm talking powerful speakers here though, right? Speakers that would potentially charge the metal there's different sounds you can get the metal to heat up and there's other sounds you can manipulate structure so you can probably have a marvelous time making the most awesome sacred geometrical shapes out of metal playing with these ideas whoever feels like it just go for it but just keep in touch with me and let me know how your progress is keep in mind i do come up with more crazier ideas to add on to stuff so you would be the one missing out if you were to start up any projects without me actually right um another thing you can play around with this has also been done is it's optional is magnetic dust if you can have magnetic shreddings, very fine powder of iron, put that in the wax. And now that the wax has iron in there, you can use magnetics along with sound and do more tests and research to find out what type of awesome shapes can you get cross fusing really simple uh, items. Okay, well, you might be able to levitate heat metal, cymatic forge, build bigger speakers. Yeah, um, I mentioned that stuff. Um, one really crazy idea came to me once where I seen people using these big speakers in space, but they weren't just um, a big speaker by itself. The speakers are put in structural format where sacred geometry is used and the speakers are put in a certain way but what i seen was these people using these big speakers and moving large amounts of mass through space to build structures to build space stations and obviously those space stations and those structures would have structural integrity because they're using sacred geometry so they'd be able to handle miraculous amounts of energy going through them and such have fun with these concepts my friends okay blah 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 bigger speakers now we're going to talk about a really cool concept that i've had for a while i did put out a little bit of information on it earlier in my first lecture series called the present subject and um i don't know i must have made some editing mistakes or something uh the concept wasn't in the pieces so i got this idea that i call the crystal sarcophagi healing bed and what it is is it's a bed that's just filled with water it's more like a sarcophagi that's filled with water but it's in shape of a crystal a double terminated crystal and it's shaped with accuracy to amplify sound or conduct sound on the inside of the sarcophagi box that is designed for human-shaped life forms, <laughs> humanoids. 
if you're shaped like this, you fit in there, okay? <laughs> There's a lot of things like that out there. If you have this shape, it's you can pilot it. But anyways, um, the the sarcophagus, the okay, the crystal sarcophagi healing bed is its job. It's what you do is, according to my calculations, is, for example, you put my grandma in it. She's like eighty something. 80, 84. They put her in it, and according to my calculations, if this healing, if the crystal sarcophagi healing bed is working the way I'm thinking it's going to work, is, is if my grandma sleeps in it every day for a year, she should turn back into a 38 year old woman or a 28 year old woman over a period of time. Because what the crystal sarcophagi healing bed will be using is is there's a bathing liquid that you go in it might be extremely salty like uh, the isolation tanks that you can go into for meditation i would suggest i've got some really good siblings that i'm affiliated with that run an isolation tank but this is the healing bed. You go in there to sleep. It has a lid. You lay down on your back and then the lid shuts like as if you're in a sarcophagi. I used to like that word when I was in grade nine. Sarcophagus. Sarcophagi. Anyways. Um, how does crystal sarcophagi work? Healing bed works is there's a powerful waterproof speaker at the bottom of the bed where your feet are and there's a powerful waterproof speaker up at the head and on the inside of the making of the healing bed sarcophagus there's like rumble pack motors that are hooked up inside of the crystal sarcophagi lid shuts there's a panel that has water and sand in it and lights where you can choose what light color to be glowing on the inside of the sarcophagi and there's these panels where you can adjust several to a dozen if there's such thing healing tones healing vibrations healing um, waves beats per minute Inside of the healing sarcophagi, there'll be a panel in front of you as you lay down on your back. The panel, the control panels on the lid that shuts down over you. There's a round light space that's got water and sand in it. And what that sand's going to do is, is it's going to make geometric shapes, letting you know that the healing bed is vibrating and making the sound that you had preferred. Because on the control panel, we'll have the geometric symbols as a reference to let you know this is the symbol you should see in the water sand dish that's right in front of you. And then right under that, there's these other controls where you get to adjust what color lights you want inside, what vibration you want the rumble packs to vibrate the sarcophagi at and what healing tone you want to hear like or or oh and then as long as the healing bed's got electricity being run into it those speakers will emit the healing sounds into the water you're laying in and i will admit there will be powerful speakers so you should probably use earplugs to plug your ears. You want to use certain healing tones in there, like um, numerical healing sound. I believe it's the same sound as OM, right? Which is, might be the same sound as love. I'm not sure. Just more research for everybody. Put your two cents in there. You know what I'm saying? No one person's going to figure the whole thing out. So it's actually about teamwork. Um, I need to elaborate on the healing bed. The crystal sarcophagus healing bed. 
you lay down in it, you shut it, you turn on the sound. The sound goes through the water, your body is roughly 75% water, you lay down in it, you crash out, you sleep in it every day. And you have different sounds in there. And there's also a, a part where you can adjust a certain beat. Uh, a metronome, like, to give you a certain, you get to choose what beats per minute you'd like to hear beating in the wave ground, in the background, or have it be in a wave format while wow, there's a healing tone. Wow. You have the rumble packs inside of the making of the the sarcophagi vibrating at certain vibrations so that what will happen you have a couple of crystals in there with you um out of the way so that you can like lay down comfortably but what should happen is is you're harnessing up a bunch of energy inside of the healing bed that the water will hold because the water will mimic um, the frequency and then plus your body is mostly water so the next couple of things that would adjust is the solid matter of your body you know your bone bone marrow your DNA your junk DNA according to my calculations the healing bed might even be one of the safest ways to triggering your superhuman activation so definitely looking for people that are interested in researching and or building some stuff got one good brother that did some research and started generating hho at home and that's definitely brilliant i think he discovered the boom bubbles bubbles that you can use as fuel so anyways um Back to the healing bed that I need to close up its idea is, is anyone interested in, in, in working on these ideas? Just go for it. Just try to let me know how your progress is going. I believe the concept of the healing bed, I got the idea from watching the, the original Stargate movie from back then. There were these people that had these beds they were sleeping in, and I was intrigued about it the whole time until since recently the past couple years came to understand um cymatics and the, the um the research around sacred geometry which is the number system that nature uses kind of has you feel like you're inside of a certain format of a certain operating system there's certain numbers that are consistently used to make up pretty much everything and all the patterns. So if we work with nature, that's it. You know, we're just left to find out what the results are. Yeah, the healing bed might be the fountain of youth because it has to do with water. You just got to add sound. No, so I'm just putting that out there. Now, before I wrap things up, there is this one concept I wanted to share with you. Now that I've shared those other concepts, is one concept I want to share is called my crystal skull. What's up with my crystal skull? Well, how does my crystal skull work? Well, my crystal skull is no more special than the next one but i'll tell you how i got it okay we got 3d printers that already exist a couple years now that can harness sunlight and melt sand into um little glass pieces and glass structures that can go together so i was thinking glass Glass. Glass is from sand, but sand is mostly silica. And silica is the main ingredient in, for example, quartz crystals. Most crystals and healing stones. Wow, silica is a really special substance, you know. 
it's got some properties. As a matter of fact, what I'm thinking is, is inside of the Nazca lines is quartz sand. And the reason why you put quartz sand in the Nazca lines that are making shapes of animals and such is because they're huge talismans on the land. They're energy talismans carrying the energy signatures of certain life forms or consciousness so that they can have some kind of a conduit uh, of communication with the earth or certain forms of consciousness spheres of the earth. So that's just for people who are already aware of that stuff. Now, the crystal skull that I'm talking about is it works like this. You got a 3D printer that can um, harness sunlight to mold sand and make three dimensional structures that are like photographic, three dimensional photographic structures, right? So, check this out. You take a picture of my skull, for example, this one. And, um, yeah, you take a three-dimensional picture of my skull, and now what we're going to do is we're going to get it to print out on that 3D printer that uses sand. But what we're going to do is we're going to take all the sand out. Where is the sand from? This beach over here? That's cool. Right? We don't know where that sand's from, but what we're going to put in here now is shavings of white quartz, and a bit of shavings of rose quartz and a bit of shavings of amethyst, for example. A bit. Well, we're going to dump in a couple bags of this powdered quartz right into the 3D printer, right? Have you added the numbers up together? Do you see what's going to happen here? We're going to take a 3D picture of my skull and then get the 3D printer here to print up a skull that is primarily white quartz, rose quartz, and amethyst. Tiny layer by layer, have it print out in a certain way where when we put the whole thing in a kiln, it'll melt right into its natural shape. So you have to print it slightly distorted so that when you put all the sheets, these crystal sheets in a kiln, Hopefully, they'll just melt together without any bubbles, and you might be able to achieve a perfect crystal skull that would have extreme talismanic properties because it would be mimicking a human skull to a more finite detail using digital technology of today. Wherein, according to my calculations, a good 87% of our technology today is from reverse engineering crash. But the relationship will mend and we'll all remember our place as part of a galactic family. So that's soon to happen. Some dope concepts I'm going to throw out there right away is, is some of those people flying those ships that are going to come back for some of the people here. Some of those people flying those ships are, are actually people from here that have been trained to live out there and stuff like that. 100% pure human. And you know what? They might wind up looking just like the greys because we carry so much junk information in our DNA that there's probably a dozen different ways a human being can transmutate, mutate, or evolve depending on what environments they're in. So I believe, let's check my little list of subjects here. See, yeah. It's actually done. So here we go again. I just finished the second part of a special lecture episode called More Through Me For You. This is Dor Hoima Akasha signing out for now. Thanking you again for watching and asking you again to please feel free to throw them 
me some feedback and if there's any subjects you feel like working on go for it right just try to get back to me on it on your progress so that we can work as a group and stuff we've got tons of stuff to get done we don't know how much time we've got until the pole shift so let's have a good time let's get some stuff done Let's get some partying done too. Thanks, I'm out.